Ugh. Good evening, vampires, werewolves, and all other nocturnal beings. Welcome to Titties by Night, a Vampire the Masquerade actual play run entirely by creatures of marginalized genders and presented by Tabletop Titties. My name is Kelly, my pronouns are they, them, and I will be your storyteller for tonight. I'm so used to wearing glasses, I went to shift them. Oh, no. (laughs) Before we get into this episode, we want to acknowledge the colonial history of Canada and how Canada has and continues to take from the indigenous people. The effects of colonization are still felt to this day, and we acknowledge that this episode is being recorded on the stolen lands of the Sequetmik, Semiamu, Keitsi, Kwatlin, Musqueam, Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh, and Coast Salish First Nation people. If you would like to know more about the effects of colonization and support some indigenous charities and organizations, you can go to the resources page on our website at tabletoptitties.com slash resources. With me, I am joined by the investigators of the occult and unusual. Why, hello there. My name is Emily Matchett. My pronouns are she, her, and I play Imogen White, the salubri whose pronouns are also she, her. <laughs> Hey, everybody. My name is Charlene Bayer. You can call me Char. My pronouns are she, her. I play Octavia Smith, whose pronouns are also she, her. She is a tremere, but I have a feeling that tonight I may be stepping back into the shadows and my guide dog, Prophet, may be taking more of center stage. (laughs) Hello, hello. My name is Rachel Thielade. My pronouns are she, her, and I will be playing Evelyn Stormloft. The Nosferatu, whose pronouns are also she, her. And our special guest is back. Uh, Yes. (laughs) Sorry, I was was shifting to the other screen. (laughs) Yes. Hello. My name is Sarah Mayfield. My pronouns are she, her. And today I will be playing Rat, a Nosferatu. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it is. (laughs) Whose pronouns are it, it. That's everything, right? Yep, that's yeah. I mean, we mm-hmm. still have other things to do, but you got it. No, I don't. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's we it. All right, see you today. today. Yeah, bye. Bye. Hey, bye. <laughs> everything was fine. Nobody died. Or <laughs> fine. It's fine. It's if fine. somebody does die, there may be odd gasps or other haunting <gasps> music that you hear from your ear holes, and that sirenscape. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh. You can use Sirenscape to make your playtime more atmospheric. <laughs> playtime. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sirenscape.com. It's free. They also have a paid subscription that you can use to get access to even more features. Check it out. Awesome. And we also have a Twitch shout out to do today. Today we are shouting out Role Plays. Role Plays Live is a TTRPG show of theater performers who produce high quality radio dramas with a signature dose of horror, chaos, and heart. Their current Twitch stream and podcast is Manatown, a noir story that follows their fleet of femme fatales in a sinful city where magic is under prohibition. It streams on twitch.tv slash Live on Tuesday nights and is updated twice a week on the podcast feed. And tune in on Saturday nights for Heroes and Himbos, a more traditional (laughs) take on an adventure story chock full of flying pirate ships, unbridled queerness, and the highest of stakes. Catch it Saturday nights or subscribe to the Patreon to hear their backlog. You can also tune in on the Roleplay's YouTube channel, where you can find videos focused on improving the roleplay and acting side of your home games. Definitely check them out. They are lovely. Noise. There is nothing more I like hearing than the word himbos and also <laughs> unbridled queerness. Yes. In the same breath. Yes. It's just, it's right in the universe. When you love happens. to see it. You, mm-hmm. you love to. So, potential trigger warnings for this episode uh, blood, gore, violence, and vermin. So, if those are things that you do not want to hear today, you can skip to the next episode. Uh, all right. Are we all ready to go? I'm so ready. Ah! <laughs> ah! All right. Previously on Titties by Night, the investigators of the occult and unusual uh, saw an increase in traffic to their humble business. The influx of clients brought them all over the city to solve mysteries of kiss, uh, missing kindred, laughing wells, and another haunted widow, although this one was much less sweet. 
Meanwhile, Rat was in the middle of an investigation of its own down in Southwark, which had taken a turn for the worst. It fled from the burrow after waking up in a crate, only barely escaping into the river and slipping into a drain pipe. Rat informed Evelyn of the situation, and after some information gathering at a local bar, the coterie traveled down to Southwark to seek revenge. Posing as a corpse wagon, the crew was able to make its way into Southwark. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> hide themselves. I got you, fam. <laughs> I blocked it out. <laughs> hide themselves in the shadows and begin the search for the location of Rat's rude awakening. But through the fog, something else was lurking. The IO IOU found themselves being hunted by a group of caitiff, the same caitiffs that had attacked Rat. Evelyn and Rat did a bit of hunting themselves, managing to turn the tables, sending one of the kindred to their final death. Unfortunately, Evelyn's blade wasn't enough to finish the job, and she quickly found herself at the business end of a pistol, as the caitiff acclaimed, one of mine for one of yours. So, we now start immediately as we end it. Evelyn, you see as this caitiff who is in a thick, burly uh, jacket, just giant and muscular, uh, turns to you, declaring this, and you hear the click of a uh, revolver hammer pulling back. Um, can I try to get the fuck out of the way? <laughs> sure. So this is going to be, I believe, one of our first like opposed combat roles of the stream. Mm -hmm. um, We've been doing just so. social combat, not yeah. real combat. Not that sexy I mean, combat. I've punched what's her face, but That's yeah. True. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to need a dex and let's call it athletics versus their yes. uh, decks and firearms. Mm. Sirenscape doing work right now. <laughs> I know, it's intense. I'm liking it. Oh, man. I used willpower, and it did not help. I am also using willpower, so don't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to move the like successes out of the way so I don't bump them so I can count them all. Oh, one, two, three, four. Four, five successes. Wow. That was a lot better because it was very low before. <laughs> That's just enough. So, Fuck yeah. Um, <laughs> as uh, Imogen and Octavia, as you hear the squelch of this body uh, land in front of you, you hear a loud blast. Uh, and Imogen, you can see almost like a uh, bright light appear in, in the fog above you. As Evelyn, you just barely managed to push the caitiff's hand out of the way. Uh, as the gun fires uh, wide. Um, what is... So everybody who's never done combat in Vampire before, the official rules are set that there are static stats that determine who goes first, and it's based on your ability to assess combat quickly, uh, which means that Rat, you are the first one to hear this gunshot go off and have the keen mind to act first. So what is it you are trying to accomplish? Um... Rat's gonna, Rat's gonna try to get a run and start and jump over to the other rooftop. Sick. Yeah. Uh, I think absolutely no problem to do so for you. Uh, you are jumping over like a tight side alley, so you just sort of like leap, and the uh, sort of like shingles of the roof break underneath your feet as you land on the other side, okay. uh, and you oh. see Evelyn and this unnamed caitiff sort of in hand-to-hand -hand combat at this point. Oh. Rat's just gonna look at Evelyn and be like, Hey, I got mine, you couldn't get yours. And he's gonna <laughs> take out his shank. Wow. <laughs> so he's gonna take out his bone shank and go to, go to do a nice little, like, you know, under the ribs and up. Nice. Ooh. Uh, yeah. So give me a, we'll call this a dex and melee. You can use your knife specialty. Ooh, all right. And the success is six or higher. Yeah. Man, I'm <clears throat> I'm so happy the nickname that I gave to this character. It makes me happy when I read it. <laughs> oh, now I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you ask or kill them, Excuse I'll me, tell sir. you. Uh, what is uh, your hi. Name? <laughs> hi. Hi, if anyone's going to ask for a name. <laughs> That's true. In the midst of Carry battle. On. Yes. Carry on, Brian. <laughs> And I'll also say that it's lovely to meet you. That was, wait. 
Wait, I rolled way too many dice. <laughs> I mean, you do have a. This is a pretty high this roll. This is a for fuck you. ton of dice. Yeah, but I've rolled like 12 dice. That's definitely too many. I'm just Seven. Gonna roll them you would roll eight dice for this. Just a little behind the curtain. Yeah, I have no idea where all those extra dice came from. <laughs> Math is hard. We, we love an honest game. Can't yeah. <laughs> That is eight successes. Jesus. Wow. Wow, that you guys are doing really good. I rolled seven successes with a bestial critical. Oh. Uh but oh. uh which does mean that you only do one point of damage. So as you run up with, knife. with your knife. Uh so as you jam your knife into the side of this kindred, you just like hit the front of their rib and sort of slice open a wound, um, and they let uh, Evelyn go as they yell out in uh, in pa- quite a bit of pain. Uh, surprisingly, more <laughs> more pain than they should be in for hitting them with a melee weapon. Yeah, that's uh, right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, so that would be uh, Suck it. Imogen. <laughs> you are actually the next one to be able to react to this. So I saw, I saw Evelyn, like almost get shot. Yeah. Uh, you. Remind me, do you have heightened senses on at all right now? I do. I can't remember if I did it for sight or heightened senses. I can't I remember think if I did it for sight like it was, or it hearing, was, though. I think it was hearing because you, so remember true. you saying something like, I don't think I'm going to be looking around too yeah. much. I want to hear where the footsteps so, and the weird which, chittering is coming from. Did I hear the gunshot? <laughs> yes, and I'm going to need you to roll a willpower save. Oh, no, because it's going to blow your eardrums out. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so remind me, that's just rolling willpower, all your, yeah? Yeah, all your non-damaged willpower, which should be everything right now. No, it's not for some reason. Uh, you would have reset after the last chapter, so I don't think you've used uh, any? I think we used I, some when we were in the um, yeah, but cart. Used one's recover each session. Each game, yeah, okay. that we play. Um, are, mm-hmm. there any, are there any uh, hunger die in a willpower roll? No. You can't use willpower to re-roll willpower. Two successes. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, it's a it's a loud bang, and as you as it rings out, you hear like this that tinnitus squeal as you are uh, currently deafened by the uh, explosion. But you are still able to act, just probably not with things that you can hear too well. Um. Sorry, I'm just looking up mm, a rule for something. <laughs> okay. The yeah, answer okay, is cool. probably. Uh, <laughs> uh, and looking around, can I see where it came from? Yeah, you saw like, you know when like a firework goes out in fog, you, all you can really see is like the, the fog in that area glow. Uh, you saw a moment of that as the gun gunshot went off. Cool. Uh, I'm a compel, and I'm a shout out. Uh, stop what you're doing and stay where you are. Ooh, is that uh, one There's of your There's no roles involved with that. That's what I was looking up. I was like, that can't be right. I copy pasted that wrong. No, nope, it's it's nothing. It just kind of makes them do it. Oh. It just you do it. Nice. Which makes no sense to me, but here we are. I mean, thought it was just a one word thing. But no. Because the vampire short, short can sentence. issue a short sentence. A simple sentence, so it can't be like. That's pretty. Okay, no, take, the- road, take a left and. Groceries. <laughs> 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 I believe it is contested. One second. Y'all have a lot of abilities, and I forgot all, most Did of them. Did you get it from the wiki? Because I feel like the wiki. Kind if you just copy paste it from there, they they don't say what you need to roll on there. Oh, okay, where do I find yeah. out what I need to roll? It's in the that? it's in the book, I think. The book, like the, the book actual book. book. The actual book. Oh, book. Or the, the handy book. cards. You or guys, the handy cards. get some cards. They're so good. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just I'll I'll make a ruling until we can figure it out, just for the sake of progression, uh, that this will be a um, dominate and. Let's say charisma. 
uh, versus their resolve and composure, I guess. Two attributes. Let's go for it. <laughs> and then we'll figure it out later. Nice. They didn't roll that good. <laughs> Would my friendly, um, my friendly specialty come into play here? Sure. You're asking nicely. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like everything Imogen does. says is always friendly. <laughs> uh, three, three successes. Yeah, they got one. So, <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, what exactly were you asking them to do again? Uh, stop, stop what you're doing and stay where you are. Or if you want it to be more simple, freeze. Uh, so, the the caitiff, uh, all all of you up top now in combat with this um, kindred just saw them let go as they rile in pain, and they hear the voice of Imogen. Uh, below and seem like compelled to like just stop fighting you for a moment. Um, Wonderful. And uh, Octavia, you are next. Um, I'm going to walk uh, to the side, uh, trying to get like by a building that would potentially have like some sort of objects or whatever yeah. in front of it. I'll just walk until I hit something. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm going to use my feral whispers to say, Prophet, you know what to do. <laughs> uh, and uh, you kind of, are you going to hide in the shadows at all? Uh, yes. While I am here, I will activate Cloak of Shadows, uh, meaning that I can't move or make sound anymore uh, without the risk of being seen, but it's a free use. Cool. So you kind of like um, slink into the shadows and tell uh, Prophet to go ham. Yeah. All right. Um, I was supposed to have eye contact for that compel. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I found it in the book though. But you did get the you got the charisma dominate. Correct? Yes. All right. Yay. We'll just we'll say that it's it wasn't even a discipline that you were using. You just asked so nicely, <laughs> so nicely. that they they got yeah. a little confused for a sec. <laughs> Um, but it will not. It will not really assist your group then. Um, okay, so th those of you on the uh, roof. Um, Wait, can profit go? Yes, but it's I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. Uh, what he's like, you can you can dictate like what he thinks you mean, but in terms of movement, he's going to jump up and join the fray. Yeah, that's good. Uh. So, because he has Soaring Leap, so he literally just, like, shadows form into a dog as he comes out of hiding and leap up onto the building, and all of you up top basically see this, like, this, what is at first, like, a smoky dog form into a uh, shape of an actual uh, hound. Glowing red eyes. Yeah. And uh, what does Prophet, what does Prophet do in combat? Uh, I think he won't activate any super abilities yet, so he'll just use his potence ability of lethal body to do some extra damage here. Nice. Uh, and he'll just bite slash claw until things get a little too dicey. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so give me a strength and brawl for Prophet, which is drastically high. <laughs> Yeah, he's very strong. <laughs> I didn't give him... I don't think ghouls get specialties. He has one specialty in survival tracking, but not in fighting. Yeah. Um, but I did get two tens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, seven. Uh, that is <laughs> that is enough to do aggravated damage. Um, so you see the like shadow dog grab onto this uh, kindred's leg and start like whipping around for a while. And then the section that the uh, dogs actually clamped onto rips off. Uh, and you see that their pant like rips open and like a chunk of their leg is missing now. Um, this guy's having a bad time. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, Precarious in chat said, step one, snarl. Step two, attack. Step three, profit. <laughs> profit. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I, I love, love that. So <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the lot of you who are now just 
surrounding this uh, caitiff in battle, uh, hear off in the distance from another mm. roof a loud gunshot. Um, yeah. okay. And Rat, you are hit for four points of superficial damage Oof. as a uh, rifle bullet hits you in the shoulder and like tears open your flesh. <sighs> As uh, Shit. there's more in the shadows. That would be um, Evelyn. So you've sort of, all of this stuff has been happening as you've sort of been like in the middle mm-hmm. of the fray. All right. Where am I in regards to this kindred who now has a chunk missing from his leg? You've sort of been I like. moved away from yeah, him. You were like pushed aside when he got stabbed. Uh, right. And he's now focused on, uh, he was first focused on rap, but now there's a dog latched onto his leg, just tearing <laughs> right. it into pieces. Can I just waltz up behind this boy, grab him and just like stick my blade through his backside into the front and just hopefully impale all the way through? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> uh, so that'll be a, I'd say that's a strength and uh, melee. A melee, you say? Simply because you're uh, trying to like grapple your way onto him and jam it as hard as you can. Hunger dice, I can't re-roll anything. All of Ooh. them? Oof. I have three hunger. Ah! Ooh, two tens and a success! <laughs> yeah, baby! Oh, fuck yeah, Let's fucking go! <laughs> uh, <gasps> he is not looking super great. Don't mess with us. Good thing he was the chunky boy, so. <laughs> Get him out of the way now. Then when you kill him, I'll tell you who he was. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what is your nickname? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, all right. Please. So uh, he's going to attempt to uh, pull the sword out. Hmm. He's going to attempt to <laughs> leap. <laughs> I think he's just going to try to run forward and leap across uh, without, oh. like, so the blade just, like, comes out as he jumps. Interesting. Um, and if anyone wants to try to stop him, they can. Well, I have him held, so, but I also yeah. don't have that much strength, so he probably could. I don't, have, I don't have any potence activated currently. Yeah, so give me a strength and an opposed strength and brawl All as right. he's going to try to, like, push you off. Well, I don't have any brawl. <laughs> so I have one dice and All I have hungry. hunger. So you can also choose not to like to let yeah. go. As he- yeah, I think I will. I think this is just not gonna go well. So yeah, the beast I'll let is, him go. <laughs> the this beast is probably gonna hurt. Ball. It's yeah. All right, Rat? so he kind of Did like do push it. Pardon? I wasn't sure if Sarah yeah. said something. Cause Sarah's right Fun there. Thing. Rat's right there. Yeah, I'm right there too. Um. Can I just try to trip him? <laughs> sure. Fuck yeah. <laughs> he just falls off the roof. <laughs> I'll let you do the strength and brawl roll then. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, this isn't horrible. Uh, that was uh, three failures. Three failures? Oh. Woof. Yeah. Was anything Oof. a one? No. Okay, good. Okay. I got a That's two good. and two threes. Also, we got raided. Hello. Hey, Hello. Hey. Thank you. The raid. All right. So this per- this kindred easily just pushes off of the building, and you hear like a slice come out of their back uh, as the sword is pulled, um, and they're going to land on the other side and attempt to uh, book it into the fog. Um, at this point, it is. Um, Imogen or Octavia, if you would like to do try to do anything uh, to counter them running away. You can hear them. I, only one of you can hear them land on the other roof. Uh, Imogen, you sort of see a silhouette in the fog leap across uh, to the other building. Um, there's not much I can do from this point. I act, Activating awe is a free action, so I'll preemptively have that running in case I ever decide to reveal myself. But for now, I'm just gonna stay uh, in the shadow. Cool. 
Sounds good. Um, I'll do Obia to see if I can get them to chill out. Nice. I mean, they might still continue running away, but... Yeah. Maybe slower? <laughs> yeah, and I know. failed my rouse check, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Yay! That means I get to push this button. What's the heck? My dear ween, the beast hungers within ya. Find a way to feed before you do like, something you regret. Fair, <laughs> I'm getting pretty hungry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, composure and aspects is... That was Shane Easton. Mm -hmm. By the way. Yeah. Oh, not a lot of as many dice as I would like. <laughs> I'm going to use a willpower to re-roll here. Sounds good. Rolling so bad. I love it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't change anything. Two successes. But it's a difficulty two, though. Okay. It says in my, it says in my notes. So as you reach out and, like, seek out their beast above you, uh, you can feel a, a little bit of, like, alleved aggression um, as they've kind of gone into, like, flight mode at this point. Um, it seems to have taken hold, but I will need Octavia to give me a willpower roll oh, as uh, the blood sort of, like, starts to spill out of uh, Imogen's forehead. All right. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Thank God. Uh, five out of six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. The smell kind of like wafts through the still foggy air, but you are able to resist it. It's because I'm focusing on being a shadow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so unless anyone makes chase, uh, you can hear like the stomping of the feet uh, leading away on the rooftop. Um for a slight delay, there seems to be a moment where they hesitate um, and then run off. Is anyone going to chase them or stick around? I would say... Uh, is the other is the other person going too? Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, the, the right... The other gun, yeah, there was yeah, two the gunshot shot people. Yeah, the shoulder. Yeah. Uh, give me a wits and awareness. Because you don't really know where that came from. Mm-hmm. The opposite direction of where your shoulder was. <laughs> <laughs> CSI pull out like the tube. Whoops, that flew out of my hand before I could even roll it. That About sucked. Four that successes. was two. Rat being the receiver of the bullet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you knew which shirt. What... Quick trigonometry. <laughs> yeah, you knew the trajectory. Uh, it seemed like it was actually pretty far away. Um, mm. It wasn't close enough. That you were able to <laughs> perhaps uh and at this distance you are confident you can't make out whether or not they've sprinted away not right. but you do know um, which direction they came in um yeah. and it's actually the direction in which you are uh heading oh well oh. well then um I'm not going to give Trace. Chase, sorry. Okay. Uh, so as mm. it stands then, you all, uh, the three of you, Prophet, Evelyn, and Rat, stand on top of the roof. Mm -hmm. uh, Is the chunk of flesh still there? Yeah. Okay, he'll definitely pick that up and bring it to me. All right. <laughs> Just kind of yeah. like... <laughs> uh, you hear like a squelch yeah. as Prophet yeah. lands next to you and kind of like comes up like how a animal presents a dead bird to you as a gift. Just kind of like drops it into the mud in front of you. Oh, good boy. Oh, yeah, good boy. Oh, I didn't say that in my Octavia way. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Just the shark coming out. <laughs> Your shark. Um, yeah. How uh, big is this chunk of flesh? Uh, it's pretty meaty. That was a lot of damage that Prophet did. Excellent. Um, so it's quite, it's like a hand-sized flap of skin. Damn. Yeah. Okay. I'm uh, reading an ability. Continue. Right. Imogen, you still have the like tinnitus ringing in your ears right now. Um. Okay. 
I don't know what to do about that. Just gonna um, wait, I guess. Gonna wait for it to hopefully go away. Yeah, it'll hopefully. I mean, I would say that uh. this, is this is probably the first time that it's happened to you, but mechanically, it'll eventually go away. Yeah, and I also get a minus three dice penalty for the rest of the scene on perception checks. To any hearing, correct. Yeah. Just the scene though, <laughs> so it should be okay. Yeah. What do we, are you guys coming down from up on the roof? I think we all come down to check to make sure everybody's okay, yeah. Okay. What's our plan? I have a hefty chunk of their flesh. If we want to track them or know more information about them, I can do either. Um, but I don't know where we're planning on going after this. Also, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fine. How's your shoulder, rat? Can't, yeah, yeah. I cannot hear you. It hurts. <laughs> oh. well, I was I was just speaking and the accent was so bad. I was like, please, no one. <laughs> I was like, fuck, this is an audio medium. Um, um, yeah, I think Rat's just uh, kind of just holding his shoulder and he's going to look up and be like, yeah, one got away and we got the bullet that shot me in the arm. It came from up where we're headed. So they already know if we're going there. Danger Probably lurks keep going. Everywhere. Yes, of course. Um, if need be, I'll keep this for, in a, a safe place, and I'll just put the chunk of flesh <laughs> in one of my pouches. Amazing. <laughs> Fucking the disgusting. goopy pouch. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so gross. Uh, <laughs> strangely enough. Uh, Octavia, um, you would know that like when a limb or like a piece of a, a kindred is uh, uh, relinquished from the rest of their body, uh, oh, yeah, it tends it's to dry up. Yeah, it tends to revert to their true death age. Uh, this one, while getting like a, a little bit like rubbery, didn't seem to revert very far. <gasps> The babies, <laughs> I say, as I like, I started to put it away and then I take it back out and I like squish it in my hand. Yeah, it's still got a little bit of. Listen uh, to that sound. <laughs> rosy give to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, teaching moment, Imogen, and I'll explain that aging mechanic of um, oh, kindred flesh. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> so, I mean, that's good sign for us if they're. This young, they're probably not very experienced. Mm. Perhaps a little full of themselves. I should think so. Mm. Well, shall we? Perhaps continue to attempt to be quiet, just in case there are more of them. It's probably a good Look idea. Around. Yeah. Cool. Um... Is the whole squad going to be stealthy or are we going back to uh, two baits? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it was, wasn't it not. one? No, I mean, Octavia no. was visible. Octavia was and, there yeah. until we were fighting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sure. be stealthy uh, with my powers if I'm moving. So as we walk, for sure, I'll, I'll, I'll stay visible. Cool. But I'll be trying to be quiet. Like, I'm not, like, actively stomping as I walk. Yeah. Well, Here's the thing, though, is that we might have been the baits, but they went after the two of you, so. Fair. That is true. They did see you. I don't know if they're after us. What they're after? Interesting. They have been after my team. Hmm. I see Sarah's mouth moving, but we cannot yeah, hear Yeah, we can't hear you yeah. at all. Um... I, uh, I think, do you think they could have figured out how to track me from when I was in the, the, tri the crate? Let's or... check to see, can I just like, it's like, excuse me, and I like do uh, a little bit of a pat down to see if there's any like tracker, because I know uh, Octavia has tracked people by putting like stones and stuff on them yes. in the past and I just want to see if there's anything on good call sure. uh, yeah. I, I mean right off the bat that iconic uh, moist tech <laughs> feeling uh, I mean that's, not, that's why I'm <laughs> doing it it's something I'm used to yep. Um, yep. I mean does does rat carry on it any like 
like utility things any sort of like just i would say no it's it's just kind of just it, it rags. just carries the ship cool um yeah it seems pretty i was gonna say clean bear <laughs> spartan bear. <laughs> accurate um those of you who did stalk the two caitiffs would remember that mm -hmm. it didn't seem like they noticed you initially they were yeah they were sort we of did like, yeah we we ambushed them yeah yeah um they were tracking you guys yeah but Ooh. they didn't maybe have a chance to jump down and get you yeah well I think our plan was working. We know where then, we want to go, so why yeah, not let's, continue? Let's go. I will risk very bad things and give myself a rouse check to activate Unseen Passage again. Nice. <laughs> um, let's... Okay, we're good. We're good. Whew. All right. Okay. I'm like, um, floor hunger is going to be a bad time. I need to eat after this. <laughs> hey, um... Yeah. I whisper to Octavia, I'm like, do you think maybe we could grab a squirrel or something while we're walking? Because <laughs> <laughs> are you feeling peckish? The whisper a is a bit, bit. loud because <laughs> Imogen can't hear it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> talking with headphones hey. on. <laughs> hey, Octavia. Hmm? <laughs> do you think maybe I could grab a squirrel or two on the way? I don't see why not, as long as you okay. maintain your subtlety. Um, we never know who may be around here, even if it is a plagued area. A fake plagued area, I might add. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do that then. Sure, you're going <laughs> to do a little side hunt hunting while you're on the way? Yeah, because I'm at three, and all my good powers require rouse checks, so... Sounds good. Mm. Good call. Uh, so we're gonna I, I, what do I roll? I can't remember. Ah. So we're going to say that Damn it, I went for my glasses again. Uh, Rat is sort of going to continue the, like, popping in and out of shadows to lead you to uh, where they had woken up. In the meantime, Imogen, um, after a, a good enough amount of time, the ringing sort of subsides, uh, and you're sort of just left with that, like, that, like, a little bit of squeak, a little bit of squeak. Um, but I'm going to need you composure and animal ken from you to sort of, like, track down some animals while you're following... Uh, your guide. Can I send profit to help? Sure. Uh, do a put put two extra dice in there as you got a you got a tracking bloodhound on your side. Nice. Uh, <laughs> so these dice rolls suck so bad. Oh. oh Today. No. Two successes. Yeah. Did you add your specialty? Because don't you have a vermin yep. specialty? Oh, Ooh. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Aww. So Sorry. I mean, you can roll willpower on your hunting. Sorry. I said you could roll or use willpower to re-roll. But then I'm down at. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fine if the salubri frenzy is nothing bad could happen. Great. One yeah. more. So three successes total. That was literally the difficulty yeah. was three. So Thank God. <laughs> um, it is kind of like uh, there's no human uh, activity around here. So there's no like leftover food that the rats can kind of, because you're not going to find squirrels mm. out here. This is rat territory. Um, hey. Do you think that would <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I talked to Brophit. I'm like, do you think that would offend our friend rat? <laughs> Eat rats? <laughs> Is that in bad taste? I don't know. Uh, Prophet seems. I mean, I do it anyway because yeah. I'm a hungry uh. gal. Prophet <laughs> seems nonplussed. Uh, as you find, <laughs> sort of like um, at the side of the road, this like ditch that kind of leads into a broken part of a building. Uh, you find kind of like a storehouse that seems to have some rats that have sort of taken over, and you just find like this cluster of rats that have taken uh, this this part of town. Nom, 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 nom. There. I just thought of a bunch of rats be like, you came to the wrong side of town there, Misty. <laughs> <laughs> this is our turf. Kogresh is there. The ones from Ratatouille just like pull switchblades yeah. on you. So many references in that last <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> um, 
Give me a wits and awareness so that your your squad is like making sure that you don't wander too far and sort of keeping tabs on you. Uh, but I'm going to need a wits and awareness from Imogen. Uh, am I still minus for the... No, no, you're Dang. good. Dang. Okay, cool. And that would that only be on... it drastically. Yeah. Maybe on not that, though. It would be like hearing stuff. Three successes. Seeing. Um, As you kind of follow around and you're looking for uh, any vermin you can get your hands on, um, you kind of start spotting out of the corner of your eye. Uh, there's a lot more snakes around here. Oh. Um, you find the collection of rats, but every time that you see a snake, it sort of like notices you, hisses, and like uh, slinks away. Interesting. Yeah. But uh, you get your fill of rats and you rejoin your squad. Um, Octavia, it seems like there's a lot of snakes around here. Is that normal for this part of town? Were they acting strangely? They were acting like snakes do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Imogen, I, 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 you I know, know how... yourself that you're able to, to form certain bonds with animals. Is there, what I'm asking is, is there any potential that they may be informants of someone? Oh, maybe. I don't know. I could go and check again. <laughs> and I run out. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but I say it so quietly. It's like, I'm she's already gone. gone. Yeah. I'm gone. You can't stop me. Give me an intelligence and animal can. No, not intelligence. <laughs> I mean, you tried. I feel I can't think of any other <laughs> role for this. Wits? I, I was like insight, but that's another skill. So, <laughs> yeah. You're basically trying to be like, do I know, know enough about snake behavior to know? One success. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> just seem to be some some sketchy ass snakes that are don't want you to get close. Um, well, shit. I go back. I say, I'm sorry. I don't. I, I don't know. Well, we do need to be careful. There are many different clans that um, do prefer the presence, uh, the company of our. What's a generic word for sn our slithery friends? <laughs> Our snakey boys. Yeah, our snake boys. <laughs> our danger noodles. Wet noodles, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to need a uh, investigation and wits from Rat to sort of like continue to keep your bearings. I'm oh, sorry, what was that? Uh, investigation and wits. And wits. Wait. Can I roll to see if I would know if there were... Cl I just was going off my own knowledge. Would Octavia know what I said? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty common knowledge. Okay, great. Um, the, uh, the, the followers are not like a mystery, or like hidden in this era, mm -hmm. as they are not yet called, called something else. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's fine. Don't worry about it. Ooh. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. It's nothing. Okay, that was four successes, one ten, and one one. Okay, yeah, you you get a pretty strong. I would almost say like with your sense, like you pick up, you start picking up your own blood um, from when you initially had combat here. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you're like, oh, okay, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's not me this time. Um, oh, it was me, but it's not me this time. It's me from last time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you start to pick up that scent of like where you had waken up, woken up, and combat had happened. Um, and as you do, uh, all of you sort of like um, you've been in basically this like low level housing area with like swampy ground, um, mm -hmm. fairly desolate in the fog coming through. Uh, but as you get closer to where Rat smells its blood. Uh, you see what appears to be a large, almost like guard wall. Um, it's massive compared to everything else. It's made of stone. Uh, and those of you who have been around long enough would know that this used to be like a defensive wall from like Romans. Romans built this to defend the city oh, cool. long, long, long ago. Um, and uh, you see sort of like an opening that would be the main entrance for 
uh, guards to go into. Uh, and sure enough, Rat, you smell, you, you track your blood trail leading in there. Uh, it's that way. Do we want to just walk right in? Well, I'm pretty well undetectable at the moment, unless I make a huge racket. Perhaps a scouting mission? Perhaps. Shall we, Rat? Are you feeling up to it? Still can't I can't hear you. Hear you. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Um, I didn't activate my unseen passage before. I assumed you did, but you can roll. All right, roll me a I preemptive did. rouse as I <laughs> or retroactive yeah. rouse. As... All right, and for rouse, I just roll one. Yeah, that's DJ. right. One hungry. Ah! One hungry. I got a four. Ooh. Boo! No! Boo. <laughs> what hunger are you at right now? I'm at two now. Okay, that's okay. I forgot but, you yeah. ate all those beefy boys. Yeah. <laughs> all the beefy work boys. Uh. You hear in your mind, Rat, <sighs> the scent of blood is thick on the air. A delicious night indeed. Uh, Evelyn, you catch, like, you're far enough away from Rat that you sort of pick up a little bit of it, but you almost get the feeling that, like, the two of you are sharing this, like, ambient aura of, hung like, bestial sense. Is this a... An- thing that I would is that it's not normal it's never happened to you before okay hmm. it's happened a few times I know that oh, and I'm just yeah. I feel like it's been like yeah um, not that I can hear him when I am not feeling any more hungry is rather concerning yeah I've been hearing him too whenever you get hungry hmm can I roll something to see if I would know now that they said it out loud? Um, yeah, I guess we haven't left yet. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, are like, you... we're prepping. I'll say, I'll say yeah, yeah, go prepping. ahead. What do I roll? Uh, give me an intelligence and a cult. Okay. Six. Wow. Um. You. Hmm. So, out of character, how much has Evelyn told Octavia about uh, her sire? Um, the horrible things that he did, but I also don't think I have told her the end result of the uprising. Okay. That would be a no-no. Yeah. If I recall correctly. <laughs> that would be a bad so, thing to, to That mention. would be a bad thing to <laughs> let other people in on. So... For all she knows, he's out there somewhere. Yeah. So your experience with, um, like, Auspex and stuff, Octavia, and, like, just your general knowledge of, like, research and being a fairly academic individual, especially into the occult, um, it's strange, especially for this to happen with a Nosferatu, um, but given the, like, generally antagonistic nature in which Nosferatu create um, kindred, it's not outside of the realm of possibility that he might have, like, cast some discipline to ensure that his children always hear him, regardless (sighs) of uh, what's going on. Okay, I'll just whisper, perhaps it's because both of you are are of the Nosferatu clan. I'm I'm not sure if your, your sire had abilities that would leave his consciousness to linger even in those who aren't getting hungry but others nearby them are very strange i'll have to look into this further when we get back to the library well last time i saw him he didn't really have a chance to tell me these things he wasn't much of a talker unless it was something that would benefit him I say very distastefully. Like, I don't like talking about him at all. <laughs> don't uh, let me keep you. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of pre- preparing to go into yeah. this time. I read yeah, the I, room. <laughs> yeah, I just, like, get very, like, kind of just grumpy and quiet. 
And I think I'm I'm going to start walking as soon as I get the idea that Rat's about ready to go. Cool. Yeah. Let's roll, baby. So uh, the lot of you begin to enter this sort of like cavernous uh, tunnel. And you can see that where there used to be like a wooden door, uh, it has long been like broken off. Um, and as you go in, the... The air in here is very like stale. Uh, the fog has sort of seeped in a bit, but it's it stops deeper in. And mm. you notice sort of lining the walls as you walk are these bunks. They look like really old, uh, kind of like cheap looking bunks. And as you go deeper, you notice what appear to be like used medical supplies and Imogen you specifically would recognize some of the uh, nature of these uh, this appears to be a converted influenza ward as you would specifically recognize this yourself ah. hmm. um, you see like the telltale signs of like sweat that like aged sweat in the in the uh, sheets and the occasional like blood splatters and stuff like that. Um, but you don't find any bodies. Um, and as you continue to walk down, uh, the way it's like kind of curved a bit. So as you walk, you can't see everything in front of you like a tunnel. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be any bodies here. Uh, and they don't seem the, sh the the beds don't seem old enough that it was like years and years and years ago this yeah. seems to be like maybe pre-rat showing up yeah like someone stocking up and Building rat themselves a crew you would notice fresh blood leading f down the tunnel basically if I were to smell this blood would I recognize it uh, it smells very similar to uh, someone you have recently stabbed. Perfect. <gasps> hey, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they definitely know we're coming then. I say, like, um, gesturing over at the blood. Hmm. Well, we don't know that. What if they just happen to come through this way and want to get patched up? I say very mild knowingly that they probably know we're coming. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't know. <laughs> you must be optimistic. That doesn't mean we need, can't be prepared, but let's be optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> Everything will work out fine. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, Octavia, what are you up to? Um, if uh, Did everybody go? I kind of got that vibe. I thought we were going by ourselves, but I guess we went yeah. in front and we're like, okay, you're oh, yeah, leaving. Right. The coast is clear. Yeah. yeah. Okay, come on. Okay. In that case, <laughs> I will have sure. gone also with the group. Um, am I feeling like there are multiple? Is there like rushes of air coming from m many directions or just one? Like, is there any other doors or pathways? Give me a wits and awareness. Okay. Um, four successes. Yeah, occasionally you'll feel like small w wafts of air coming from the side um, that sort of like carry the, the fog and the scent of the outside into it. Um, but with a four, you also feel just like occasionally this soft air that's much bigger coming from deeper into the, uh, the barracks. Uh, hmm. that carries with it a almost like musky scent. Okay. While I'm feeling this, I'm going to take out 
Um, I felt bad the first time I did this, and I uh, ripped a bow off of Imogen's dress to do it. So this, <laughs> I have pre-made ribbons uh, ready, and I'm going to um, attempt to do a ritual, um, which will take five minutes. So feel free to uh, skip away before you tell the results. But it turns out that I actually made a mistake the first time I used my Illuminate the Trail of Prey. It doesn't do it from when they've immediately left you. It's the past 24 hours that I can see where they have walked. Ooh. So if there are any like areas in this room that people frequently visit, Prophet will be able to see. Nice. And I'm going to attempt to do this now. Cool. So uh, as Octavia is sort of like setting up to do this ritual, uh, what are the lot of you doing? Um, I'll take a look around to see if there's anything useful we can pick up. I don't know if there's anything they would have left behind. I don't, I doubt it, but yeah. let's find out. Cool. Uh, you can each give me a uh, intelligence and investigation. Whoever's okay. doing this. Yeah, I'll do it too. Four successes. Wow. I'm rolling all right tonight. Yeah. Oh, I just jinxed it. I'm going <laughs> to <laughs> It's okay. We're just in the first half. Don't worry about it. You got plenty whole... of time to fail all my other rouses and go yeah. through the frenzy. Yeah. It's fine. I got four successes. Okay. One success. Frenzies. So for images. I don't know what I'm looking for at all. Yeah, I think like, there's. This is nice. <laughs> there's almost an element of like nostalgia but like a bad nostalgia. As if I do happen to come across a big stick, I would love a stick. Uh, yeah, for sure. I think um, given the fact <laughs> that it's like an influenza ward, you're able to find Just like a, 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 a cane that someone would hold themselves up from, you know. Just to maybe hit someone with. Yeah, Just for so sure. I have something. A shillelagh, if you will. Ooh. <laughs> hey, uh, have a stick. You druid. Rat and uh -huh. Evelyn. Um, so Evelyn, you were looking for something specifically useful. Yeah. Yeah. So you're able to find sort of the like traditional plague apparati. Uh, there seem to be a lot of like left behind supplies in terms of like um, like herbs and and whatnot. Uh, you find a collection of um, plague doctor masks just in case you want to update your your repertoire. <laughs> Do they look cooler than mine? I, I mean, yours is like a hundred years old. So I think yeah. yours is like, you know how like leather gets crusty after a while and starts peeling? Uh, uh, it's definitely I newer. Mean, okay. <laughs> uh, but I feel like that, that the fashion industry around Plague Do Doctors wasn't really booming. So Fair. still relatively traditional. Um, yeah. But uh, Rat, as you're sort of like sneaking a bit further to look around... Uh, you notice specifically that where there are like um, windows and like portholes for archery and whatnot, they've been immensely covered. Uh, the, as it gets deeper down, the wind that Octavia was feeling from the edges uh, isn't happening anymore because there seems to be like a meticulous covering of all of these holes. Um, and you begin to see carvings in the wall, sort of like loosely patterned runes that you probably don't recognize. <laughs> um, are they in any specific placement or are they just kind of like lining the hallways? Yeah, it's like, it's almost like, um, like kind of like graffiti in terms of just its, its odd placement. Any sort of like flat surface without a bunch of shit in front of it. Yeah. Um. As. Uh, and it's just like carved in, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. I think. Rat is gonna go back and kind of see if. Um, Octavia, is done her, ritual because because. Rat knows nothing about. <laughs> yeah. 
Valid. Fair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm here to break in and look at stuff. <laughs> yeah. I just don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> but you found it. That's the key. Yeah. So, yeah. Octavia, I believe, give me an intelligence and blood sorcery. Yes. And I got three successes, which is the difficulty. Nice. Well. Uh, so, describe how the whole ritual goes down again. Uh, yeah, so I like sit crisscross applesauce, uh, <laughs> and Prophet sits or like lies down in front of me, and I take out a long white ribbon, which I, um, as I slice my thumb, I cover in my own blood, um, and I strike a match. Um, do I have to? Fire is involved in this, do I? Uh, no. I think it's, I mean, specifically, you can't see the fire, so you're fine. Heck it's yeah. It's not hot enough that you're, <laughs> you're sensing mm. the fear. All right. Uh, I strike a match, and I hold it to the bottom of the ribbon, um, and it will not light until the ritual is a success. Okay. Um, and as it, as it does, it's like a fuse, and it just, like, burns through very quickly. Um, and this uh, prophet like breathes in the the smoke, and is able to follow the trail uh, for the last twenty four minute twenty four hours. Cool. And I was focusing on um, I'll just focus on the one that we killed. The one that you killed, or the one that you scared off? <laughs> the one that we killed. Who do we think is more powerful? <laughs> Fam. <laughs> um, they well, both seemed like not the one in charge. Yeah. Because that was the chick who was at the front gate being like, no. Right? That yeah. was the one who was like, you shouldn't be here. Yeah, that was. Um, I don't remember her name. Uh, uh, Ro- Re- Rose. Ro- yeah, Re- Reaver. Rosalie is the actual full name. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I'll do the one that's not injured, like the one that we killed, because the injured one has blood here that we could follow. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. So you, the, as you light the match and the ribbon lights on fire, those of you who are around Octavia sort of like stumble back as this mm. is surprising as fuck. Um, <laughs> you begin to hear like almost like sobs, but just like moaning, and like you start to feel the spirits uh, in this room that we're here, Mm. but there's like a strange like distance to them. It's not like you're standing in the middle of like all of these souls that had died. It's almost like echoed and far off. Um, But uh, you hear Prophet breathe deep of the smoke uh, and begins to walk off. Um, And they lead you uh, towards a set of bunks that are more heavily like packed with like bags, like satchels and shit like that. Uh, as you feel that Prophet has found the location of possibly where this person had stayed, um, Prophet will then like start wandering around, sort of just doing these like tracks of what appear just to be like routines and like movements and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then begins to leave unless you stop him. Um, not down the pathway that's in here, like out the way we came? Yeah, as if it, as if Prophet's gotten to the point in the uh, pattern that he's about to like walk out uh, to where you had encountered this person. Okay. Um, please hold my dear sweet boy. Um, <laughs> and I'll like rummage through these bags. All right. Uh, are the lot of you following Octavia as she does this? Yeah, I think. Oh, yeah. I think so. No, then um, I'll tell somebody. Can... I'll uh, somebody else can rummage. I can't yeah. see. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I'll I'll rummage. Oh. I will rummage for you. As you rummage through what are um, kind of like medical satchels, those like big leather ones that you open in the middle, uh, mm-hmm. Evelyn, you open it up and there's just a t- pile of rifle rounds in here. Oh my. Uh, You see just like collection of ammo in this crate and uh, or in in the satchel 
And looking through another one, you find a uh, broken down rifle and a collection of a few revolvers and whatnot uh, within here. I turned it. Are they all broken or are the revolvers okay? Well, the rifle. Well, like the, ri the rifle yeah, is. Yeah, disassembled. It's the right oh, word. okay. Anyone handy with firearms? <laughs> I think not specifically no. not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Well, then. Still um, better in our hands than someone else's. Yes, I think so. So, shall, are we lugging this about then? I assume it's the rather North heavy. Slope. There's multiple of them in this heavy, heavy bag. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, definitely. Do we see like other? Does this look like the only stockpile, or does it seem like there's multiple kind of other ones around? Um, mm -hmm. or like similar bags? Yeah, you find. Um, now that you found this bunk, uh, you see that the surrounding two bunks um, sort of have like collection of like other weaponry and stuff. Um, yeah. It mostly seems to be firearm based, uh, okay. and um, it seems like well maintained generally. I will uh, collect some of the ammunition for further use of my. What's inside the bullets? You know, the, the gunpowder, yeah. the, the, mm -hmm. the other yeah. things. It's a good resource. Yes. I mean, also, if we just took all the bullets, then the guns would be useless. <coughs> Indeed. Not a bad or we just idea. took all the guns and then the bullets are useless. <laughs> They're disassembled, so we could take <laughs> the parts of the gun. Yeah, let's just take part of each gun. <laughs> and you can take one of the bullets you want. If each of us take one component of the bag, of what's in the bag, and we just spread it all out, then no one can use it. But if you spread it out where? On the floor? If you replace <laughs> no, like but with between all of us. If you replace each part of a gun, is it still the same gun? Oh, what is that thought experiment? <laughs> Someone's oh, it's ship. Called, it's called ship the vision. Of Jesus. It's the vision. We are all the vision. <laughs> uh, so how much of how much or a little of these components are you do are you taking? Can someone yeah, try and shoot a gun? Like, what do they roll besides firearm? I. Uh, it would be dexterity. Oh, I have a lot of that, but uh, I don't have nah, any fam. firearms. Right. Nah, oh, fam. Nah, fam. Firearm. Dex. Oh, you know what? I'll, I'll take a, I'll take a, a short, small one. Uh, revolver. <laughs> revolver. Revolver. Held one. Yeah, yeah. So there's <laughs> actually, um, there's two types of revolvers, or two types of guns rather. Uh, so there's sort of like the the classic like Beaumont Adams revolver that's sort of like beefy and long. Uh, but you find there's kind of like one that snaps open. Uh, and it's got four uh, cartridges, no, slots, tubes, whatever. Yeah. Four barrels, <laughs> like <laughs> not not so much barrels. Like yes. okay. it's, it still revolves within it, but they seem okay. to be more chambers. Chambers for almost like shells. Yeah. Uh, and you gather uh. that this shock, this this pistol is almost like designed to be kind of like a shotgun, where it's like close range and and spread. So you've got the like longer precision revolver or the shorter. It's basically shotgun. <laughs> it's the end game gun. The one you get for the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> it's referred to as a, a howdah pistol. Ooh. Mm. This is Kelly with uh, Victorian weaponry Wikipedia open a couple days ago. Heck yeah. <laughs> howdah pistol. It looks cool as heck. Well. Images. I might have gotten the, the barrels nope. wrong. Anyways. That but, is a location. Which one are you Ooh, grabbing? Heck yeah. I will pull grab the distance one. Cool. I mean, if I'm gonna get close, I'm gonna just stab him. Yeah, mm. that's fair. Yeah, uh, and then. And Octavia, you're just grabbing a bunch of rounds for. Uh, yeah, I'll leave enough that people have bullets to fire, though. Yeah. I'll take I'll take one of the revolvers. Fuck it. Cool. Might as well. All right. I have enough dexterity. I don't have anything in firearms, but I have dex, so. Yeah. Oh, can we do one of those cool things where we just like double tap our weapons? Like it's something that we always do. Like, like you know, like someone will like <laughs> like double tap their like swords before they go into battle or spar or that kind of thing. Oh, you like put it yeah, up that's... before you <laughs> walk away and shoot each other. <laughs> no, I mean like like when you're like starting off, like before you fence, you kind of do like a little like double tap, and then you like you're like yeah, we're cool. Yeah, uh, I sense. hold up my cane. 
Yeah. I feel like yeah. <laughs> I feel like Evelyn is going to go along with it because for old times' sake, because she finds it very amusing that <laughs> Rat remembered that we used to do that all the time. <laughs> Just yeah. be like, ah, uh, yes. <laughs> um, all right, so you're all locked and loaded. Uh, mm -hmm. Were you going to get Octavia to try to check out the the symbols that you had found, Rat? Yeah. All right. So I'll kind of walk in front of him and be like, hey, look at these. Found these. They're all the way down the halls. And you can tell there's, there's definitely some vampires here because I mean, look at the windows. Uh, you sure enough can <laughs> feel that the wind hasn't isn't coming in anymore, uh, mm. Octavia. Just the one, like, deeper down. Uh, and the symbols are carved, so you could, like, rub your hand on them. And yeah, I'll say, please direct me to the most... Wow. I have that thing where, like, you hear someone's voice, and then you're like, I'm going to imitate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> please direct me to the uh, the most interesting sigil, if you will. Um, yeah. And I'll just put my hand up. Yeah, I'll guide her hand to the wall. So give me a... Intelligence and either academics or occult, actually. Ooh. You see, are you a literate rat? Yeah. <laughs> just fucking <laughs> writing. <laughs> Part of me just wants to say cool. they're, they're just letters. They're just, they're just the Six. alphabet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just touched it. It's just like. Um, it just says Institute yeah. for Influenza. <laughs> yeah. Eric was here. <laughs> yeah. Six. Six? Holy shit. Uh, I have like a million dice for that roll. <laughs> yeah. So, again, in your teachings, or in, in like your all your reading and all your knowledge, uh, you recognize these as uh, Scandinavian runes. Ooh. Um, with, fuck, with six? They're not. <laughs> they're not good. They're bad. They're badly written. They're. They're bad. <laughs> I speak many runic languages. I just bragged. Yeah. Oh. Um, they seem Scandinavian in nature, but poorly written. Uh, am I getting the idea that they're like, they were trying to do magic with these, then it just didn't work because they were bad? It's that's hard to tell. But you can tell that, like, they're not, they're, how do I say this? <laughs> do I they're come the, to skin? They're the popular content? ones. Like, it's uh. it's as if somebody was, like, had a loose interest in Scandinavian and wrote some fucking old school runes that looked cool. Okay. Uh, but there's a shit okay. ton of them. Like, they're all over the wall. Edge yeah. lord. <laughs> <laughs> Find some bar. Maybe they were practicing. Yes, perhaps. Very, very strange. It doesn't say anything of importance, then. It's just Not from random. what I can tell. Is that right? Uh, not really. Um, or would I, like, recognize them but not be able to read it? They're just it? bad because they're not right. <laughs> uh, you, yeah, some of them are, like, super, like, hard to read and don't really make sense, but you make out a couple instances of uh, Jormungandr. Um, hmm. Is that a language? No, it's like a name. I'm going to need another... <laughs> Scandinavian word. I'm going to need uh, another in intelligence and a call, or uh, academics at this point. Yes? Um, as a person who has spent time in mm -hmm. this neighborhood for the past three months, are there any of these symbols that I may have seen elsewhere in the town, in the district, in the? Uh, I'll give you this one. No, this is the only. This is the first oh. time you've seen these, because uh, you never actually found this location. This is where you woke up and yeah. had to flee, but you're you're sure that there's nothing. Um, there was none of these outside of this place. All right. All right. Uh, what did you get, Octavia? Three. Yeah. Uh, Victorian times. How? Yeah, I'll say three is good enough. You don't know a whole lot, but you do recognize the name as the uh, the world serpent. Shit. Oh. 
That's the child of Loki. <laughs> and there were snakes too. That's oh, right. Shit. That's right. Yeah. Imogen, you have such a smart head between your shoulders. Between your ears? Whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your brain is in your heart. <laughs> one, the one subject you have no interest in is anatomy. <laughs> it's like it doesn't matter. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome. You star. Um, and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just get up. Um, does Prof, is there any other, like, Prof, it doesn't have to follow the whole trail. Like, is there any other area of the trail in here that he would see or not yeah, really? Like I said, it's, it's, it seems mostly like some, that that person had been like living here. Yeah. So a lot of like the trail leads to like a uh, feeding area that. It seems like a collective feeding area. Yeah, okay. Um, There's no, like, secret door or whatever. No. Is my main thing. Uh, cool. And this, and this, like, strangely enough, this person, this person specifically doesn't seem to be going deeper in. Oh. Um, hmm. Very low-level person. I chose poorly. <laughs> you uh, chose for my poorly. ritual. Well, do we see blood? Ye, the trail of blood leads deeper in. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, shall we? I think, I think so. Yes. All right. the 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 squad is rolling up. Um. So as you go deeper and deeper, the the, like, almost like pulsing wind, uh, you can all feel it now, and it's this sort of like, again, stale, like musky scent, uh, and it is now much more obvious that like this space has been like meticulously covered over. There's no light coming in. Uh, it is incredibly dark now. So it's great. It's like, I want to say like impossible for anyone to see unless they pop out, open their heightened senses for, for sight. Yeah. Hey. That just sounds too risky. I don't have that. Hey, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, at this point, it's like Octavia leading you guys. Uh, yeah. And Prophet sort of like scoping out. Uh, so, Imogen, you turn on your heightened senses. Uh, and like black and white, you can see now this, the where the bunks were have now been like shoved away. Uh, this area is like empty now. And you can see tons of like stains on the ground leading deeper and you hear gro growling coming from Prophet as you Imogen look up and you see a figure standing in the middle of the hallway like bending over and like holding their side uh, and they turn to you and say I've failed but when my failure is I can be a sacrifice for the Omega and they fall back. And as you fall, you notice that they don't hit the ground. They slip through the ground. And you notice that they fall into what appears to be a giant hole uh, cut out into the middle of the barracks. Uh, and you hear a crunch as they hit the ground uh, inside. And a um. low but loud movement as it sounds like Legos being pushed aside uh, and a bit of a hiss before silence you know I think maybe we should go <laughs> and regroup maybe um, I think someone just sac they sacrificed themselves um, I'm going to need a strength and athletics from you, Imogen. <laughs> <laughs> Music cut out just as you started laughing. <laughs> you want to know what I'm rolling? One singular dice. Six, 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 six. Wow. Amazing. As I have one dot in strength and zero in athletics. That's the same as me. Guess you can rouse your blood. Oh, okay. <laughs> um... So all of you who have been leading into this hallway, uh, you hear this person call out, fall, and whatever noise happens from the tunnel. 
Imogen, you feel a hand grasp your back, and with a force that you've never felt before, your body juts forward. Uh, you go slamming on the ground in front of the hole, and the sleek blood on the floor slides you into the hole as you oh, dip no. into the darkness. We're going to go on break. <laughs> Be right back, y'all. Bye. Rocket your accessories to new heights with nerdy and gay Vancouver-based Rocket Man props. Their enamel and laser-cut wooden pins and waterproof coasters come in all your favorite franchises. Their enamel potion pins will make sure that you always have that health potion on you when you need it. And you're gonna need it. Worry not, though. Any order over $35 ships free to Canada and the U.S. Plus, if you use the promo code TITTIES with double Ds, you can get 20% off their store at rocketmanprops.com. That's rocketmanprops.com to save the day. Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> getting the drinks ready just in case. Listen, yeah. we might be in for a, a problem, so I thought I'd treat myself. <laughs> treat yourself. Imogen's gonna die. So as, no. as we left off, uh, the, the coterie was in pitch blackness. Uh, Imogen sparked her heightened senses, saw a dude yeet himself into a hole, and then got a little yeet at herself. Um... We're going to follow Imogen down that, that thread for a moment. <laughs> uh, so you see as the hole comes towards you and you slip and fall in. And as you tumble down, it's not too big of a fall. And you land on your back with a crunch uh, as you Ooh. realize that you are lying on top of a large pile of bones. Knew it. Uh-huh. Give me, a, give me a quick wits and awareness just to scope out the the room right now. I still on. Yeah, I still on. So you should get plus two, I think. I think it's plus three. Let me double check though. Plus three. Uh, <laughs> it's plus two. Nice. Did it. <laughs> One I'm of the me. things I was doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm, okay. I'm so good at rules, y'all. I know all the all the rules. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Four successes. All right. So you, as as you kind of like are on this pile of bones, uh, you can see like shredded clothes and stuff that even in black and white don't seem too old. Uh, and the room is sort of like cavernous. It doesn't look like, it looks almost natural. Uh, and as you stare off, kind of focusing, uh, you see off in a corner is a massive coiled snake in a circle. And between its, like in the middle of its body uh, is the body of the man that you just saw leap into the hole. And the snake is like, its whole mouth is over top of his head and is just like slowly pulling him in. Uh, it doesn't seem to be paying attention to you immediately. So, fun fact, um, there are no snakes in Ireland, so... <laughs> no. Weren't they all scared Holy away? Holy shit! Oh, yeah. yeah, by St. Patrick. And then, sure. I'm sure that... Al- <laughs> I'm sure that lore also comes with, like, a horrible thing that he did himself. Mm, sure. Yeah. As I, think, um, I think the snakes were a metaphor for some people. Oof. Anyways. <gasps> Sad. Anyway. Wow. Uh, uh, what holy is, shit. What are you up to? Um, well, I think I just might uh, chill out for a second. <laughs> because. Huh? Um, do I see a way out at all? Um, not not immediately, no. Um, it does sort of seem to just be a big old pit. Um, I will give you an extra thing for your four. Uh, as the snake is sort of like pulling this person in, uh, you see something sticking out of its head. Uh, it seems to be what, what kind of looks like a sword, just like sticking out of the top of its head. Uh, and you see... At, through the sort of gap in its body and uh, the other person, 
what appears to be like an altar built up behind it. Sorry, so it's snake and then altar behind the snake? Yeah, it's Imogen, pile of bones, snake, <laughs> altar. <laughs> <laughs> On like top of sword snake, and snake, sword. <laughs> yeah, sword and sword and snake. Um, <laughs> pull the sword from the snake. It'll give you powers. You'll become king, become queen. The one <laughs> uh, so yeah, Im um, Imogen's just kind of chilling. You said. Um. Yes. In that case. Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait till <laughs> okay. it's done. I'll wait till, till it's done its snack. And so polite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, here's the thing, is that I don't want to interrupt its snack, because then it might get more mad at me for invading its personal bubble. Might get angry. Uh, yeah. In that case, we'll cut back to the rest of the group. Immediately upon Imogen being chucked, uh, you hear the grunt of the person who pushed it, who is now immediately like, between you, they had just snuck up behind you uh, and deci uh, decided to push Imogen. Uh, pull my sword and try to stab him. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Rat and uh, and Rat, you would be specifically the first person to be able to act. But since yeah, uh, Rachel says she acts as well. We can, if you wanted to do anything as well, we could do that. Yeah, I feel like. Oh, instincts are the same. Just like cross swords. <laughs> Damn him! <laughs> yeah. Uh, so both of you give me a, um, let's call it dex and melee, as this is like a quick reflex thing. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, baby. One, two, three, Ooh, four. Baby. One, two. And your specialties if you're using your special weapon. Ah! Thank two, you, sir. Three, four, <laughs> five. One ten doesn't matter, right? It's got to be two. Yeah. Yeah. So that is one, two, three, four, five successes. All right. One, two, um, we're gonna use a willpower. All right. Sounds good. How many can I re-roll with a willpower again? Three. Uh, four non-hunger oh, okay. dice. Oh, four. Four wow. non-hunger dice. Okay. Correct. Cool. I should have been re-rolling more things when I was re-rolling with willpower. <laughs> <laughs> that gives us four tens. What? What? And then <laughs> you fucking love to see it. <laughs> wow, love decimated. To see it. And then um, just two straight successes. So that's ten, ten successes. Ten successes from you. Plus, Fuck yeah. Plus Evelyn's. Plus the yeah. fact that your blade does fucking aggravated damage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Evelyn, you wow. whip around with your rapier and you jam uh, into the hand that had just pushed Evelyn or Imogen. Uh, you feel it go through. Even with your blind sight, like not being able to see in the dark, you still manage to cut in the right direction. Uh -huh. uh, Rat, you just eviscerate this person as... They get caught off guard by the blade. You like jam your blade in across their stomach, uh, and you just hear like lumps coming out as they kind of like, hold it and go down. Uh, uh, you fucking rat! Uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. Your friend will be a sacrifice worthy of the god. Uh, Octavia, can what are you I, up to? Can I kick? <laughs> Kick them into the pit. Uh, sure. Uh, Octavia has does have a moment to react after yes. hearing yeah. this behind her. Um, I my mind is like racing a mile a minute. So that we came here because the caitiffs, we knew that people were disappearing and the caitiffs were to blame. Hmm. So they are sacrificing. I'm assuming they're sacrificing people to this giant snake thing. Um, and now there is still one of them behind us, and my friend is in this hole. Oh boy! <laughs> um, I'll move out of the way of the hole to shove this. Oh, but Imogen's down there. Fuck! I'm gonna step away, and I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna spend my turn uh, to try and make a light source 
for us using uh, my candle, an empty vial, and uh, some oil that I have. All right. Uh, I'll say that I'll say that you can do this pretty easily. It'll just kind of like take you out of the moment, um, so you can't like assist with the combat or anything. Okay, that's fine. But you fine. can sort of like back away, like constructing a, a simple uh, oil lanterns. No biggie for you. All right. Uh, and you mm-hmm. want to you want to you want to kick this person into the hole, rat? Yeah. All right. I also, as I step away, I say, "Look out, Imogen!" <laughs> <laughs> uh, I move over. <laughs> give me a uh, strength and athletics. Strength and athletics is a number that I have. Strength. By the way, when this happens, because I know the roll is going to be great. Uh, I'm not removing my sword. So when it happens, it's just gonna like destroy their hand. <laughs> yeah, it's a popular combat move. Yeah, uh. <laughs> good call. All right. Um, so I got two successes, and then on my hunger dice, I got a ten and a one. That's so fine. Three. As long as you got successes. Okay. Yeah. So you got okay. three successes. Uh, so what's gonna happen is that. As you go to kick, uh, the person's going to instinctively grab your leg and pull as they step forward. And you sort of like slip on the sleek uh, ground and fall to your back. Uh, as you haven't been, you're being pulled forward and the blade does slice out of their hand. Um, but you are now on your back as this person is basically like on all fours pulling you yeah. uh, towards the pit. Can I try to grab? rat to uh, help not sh- fall into pit. Sure. Also give me a strength <laughs> in athletics. <laughs> Amazing! At least I have a not terrible athletics. <laughs> My strength is questionable. Oh, we're going to go ahead and spend a willpower. Because... <laughs> That would have been a bestial failure, so I Oof. need at least a success. Okay, we got one. Okay, okay, thank God. You got a success. A success. Nice. Right. Looks like well done in this pit. <laughs> well, I just didn't want a bestial failure because I was already at three. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so as you reach out, uh, they've moved, so you don't manage to find where they are, uh, and this mm-hmm. person is going to use a soaring leap to push off the ground and pull both themselves and Rat uh, into the pit uh, as they sort of jump forward. Uh, Rat, you like get pulled along the floor as they basically like push along the ground and pull you into the uh, the pit. And let me see one sec. (laughs) Imogen. Are you feeling damaged? Uh, Oh no. They just land on Imogen. Holy fuck. No, no, no. <laughs> she Imogen, moved out of the way. <laughs> you, oh, okay. Uh, you see uh, coming through the top of the pit uh, is Rat and this uh, person who, upon landing on the bones, uh, takes a point of damage, which kills them, as okay. a uh, sharp bone sticking out pierces uh, through their heart. Uh, and you see them like shrivel in front of you almost immediately. Uh, and you see Rat just like slump onto their body as they are pulled in. Do I take any damage? Uh, no, you're cushioned. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This person used a, a discipline that launches them very quickly in a horizontal yeah. direction. <laughs> Not bright. Uh, and then you're, you're just gonna hear from the bottom of the pit, I'm all right, I landed on him. Upon saying that, oh boy, Oof. oh no, you hear <laughs> as uh, Imogen, you now notice the snake like legs sticking out of its mouth, staring at you as its eyes narrow toward the two of you. I think we should get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think that's a good idea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's just like silent. Just like, just like fight, flight, or freeze. Just freezing hard. Yeah. Um, you see the snake uh, sort of like uncoiling now. Uh, 
moving along the bones, you hear that like crunching and Lego sound that uh, oh. uh, you had heard as it moves towards you. All right, we're, we're heightening something eyes because I want to be able to see this fucker. Fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> um, Can I see any sort of exit other than the uh, sacrificial pedestal, which I assume is slightly higher than the rest of the bones? Uh, you, um, give me a wits and awareness. Okay. Wits and awareness. Wits and awareness. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do it with force, otherwise what's the point? Yeah. Um, we got uh, two successes. Yeah, you can't, you, now that yeah, you, you like, yeah. almost like night vision, like Sam Fisher, you bling, your eyes go on, <laughs> and where it was pitch blackness, no, no light coming in, you now see this massive uh, snake uh, sliding towards you. Uh, this is about the time that Octavia would have uh, finished constructing your uh, handheld lantern. Awesome. I will keep my lantern uh, close to my chest, and I will, I'll try to approach the hole. All right. And I'm going to focus... Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just, I'm with you because I can't see <laughs> shit, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can now see the light. It's really dim and, like, uh, not causing a lot of brightness. Um, I can give it yeah. to you if you want. It's up to you. Um, I don't want to, like, impede your ability of, like, fighting. Well, I can't. If I don't have it, I can't see, so I'll be bl- fighting blind. So, so I'll, I'll hand it to Evelyn. Okay, right. well, uh, I'll use it with my left hand because I'm right dominant hand. I'll have freed for a sword, so. Cool. You're like peak Bloodborne now. Yes. <laughs> 1,000%. The haunter must haunt. Just la- latch the lantern to your, your hip. Ha- revolver one hand. Right yeah. Hand. Yeah. And um, then, um, do I have time to do something else or is just passing that off my turn? Yeah, this is like your your movement. So you can do something else. Okay. Uh, I would like to focus in on the hissing and slithering and bone crunching sounds. And I would like to premonition. Ooh. And try and gain Ooh. some insight into how we can defeat this creature. All right. Do you, are you going to make me roll a rouse? Uh, yeah, because you're trying to like specifically that's force it. That's a two, baby. Oh, boy. That <laughs> means that you get a little tasty sire that we're going to play right out. <laughs> give me a, just give me a sec to find it. This is a... Tisk, tisk. Your failures are never-ending, Octavia. Perhaps I could do a better job. <laughs> Under my breath, I say, I just made the best fucking handheld lantern that the world has ever seen. <laughs> but sure, you can come in and do a better job. <laughs> um, uh, and then. <laughs> resolve an <in> aspect. <laughs> okay. Five. All right. So you kind of like lean in and you can feel the breath of air uh, coming out of this hole now. Uh, And as you lean, uh, you get flashes in your mind. It's less like it's less like the the soft drifting of your normal premonitions that you have during like readings and stuff. Mm -hmm. And instead you get almost like moments in time flash before you. Uh, You feel like like chanting, but almost like more religious chanting like people uh, doing like actual prayers and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, you feel this sense of like uh, like growing praise and like growing uh, numbers as the chanting becomes like louder and more collected and more collected. Uh, and then almost like a sickening feeling comes over as the voices dim down, uh, but the chanting is still prominent. Um, and for a moment in time, you hear just one voice chanting, a very like stoic, steadfast chant that is now in- accompanied by an overlying bestial voice. Um, and for a moment, it's just those two in unison chanting. Uh, when several more voices begin to ch- chime in, but you can tell that it's wrong. 
and you can tell that something isn't like the one voice is trying to remain the dominant voice while all of these other voices are chanting in a almost like mocking corrupted version of this chant uh and you get this sense of like res- not resolve but almost like one last opportunity uh as a sharp pain tinges in your skull like a terrible migraine and you begin to hear all those voices that you had heard uh chanting in mockery scream in a horrifying sickening echo uh, and that scream amplifies that migraine until you can almost you almost lose control and you feel like your beast almost come in uh, and you pull yourself out and you're now like sitting over the uh, the hole and the chasm and you can hear the slithering and the crunching of bones now. Tisk tisk, little snaky boy. Seems like your followers aren't doing a very good job. Perhaps I could do a better one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sure. wow! The shade. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, that's it for my turn. Uh, uh, Evelyn, you were were you gonna head on in now that you have light? I think so. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Oh. I'm. By the that's way, I want to ask. It's fine. Um. <laughs> Would I have made enough noise to end my unseen passage at this point because uh, of s- using sword? Yeah, I think you also, didn't you also call out? Or was that someone else? I didn't. Um, I didn't. Yeah. Well, it was rat. I would say rat. that. Rat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll oh, end it on him. I would say that the, uh, the now dead person can't see you anymore. Or could, could, or could have seen you, what? but now cannot see you. So, so Snake might still not be able to see you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. I'm going to try to land quietly then. Gracefully? Yeah. Oof. Let's make that a dex in athletics. Just to make, just try to, because this is pretty tough, because you're landing into bones. Yes, yeah. Or you could so, try to, now what? that you have light, you could aim for a softer part. Maybe yeah, a- <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to aim for something because I can see a little bit. Okay, this is not terrible. I got two tens. Ooh. So that's two tens and bad. then two more successes. Wow. So uh, Imogen and Rat, you now see the snake is like swiftly approaching the, the legs yeah. of the uh, the caitiff is, are being sucked in. Yeah. And like yeah. right in front of you where the body of the pierced caitiff is you see like three point landing evelyn just like land on top of the corpse which just like sort of shifts a little bit but doesn't make a noise and then as you think like oh it's evelyn you don't see her anymore it was like a an Im- imagination that you had. Oh, right, right. um can i try to use obia on the snake for sure you can uh you you can tell that it's quite a like it's it's hunting now, as it get, is getting closer to you. I'm a rouse. Che- I'm gonna. I gotta rouse. I want rouse check, but I also want to rouse the blood. All this. right. So give me two rouses. Ah, I passed both. Nice. Woo! Finally. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll, and then I'm gonna see what happens. Cool, 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 cool. I'm excited to see if you can. Tame this beast. Do, uh, that will mean that I will need willpower rolls from both Rat and Evelyn as well, please. Oh. Ah! Fucker. Um, does my regular difficulty two still count here? Um, how much did you get? Two. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't fail, but so, so willpower. Is I roll all my willpower? Wait, dice? wait, pause, yes. pause. Okay. One more, <laughs> one more friendly specialty. <coughs> Three successes. All right, sick. Um, to answer Sarah's question, yes, all of your remaining willpower that you haven't spent or hasn't been damaged, you can, uh, you can roll for your willpower. So, how much did you get, Evelyn? Two successes. All right. Got a ten and an eight. All right. So. Sweet. Um, what are you saying to the As thing? As you hear, 
a very scared Imogen say, Hush, little snakey, <laughs> don't make a sound. Pay no attention to the people on the ground. <laughs> and if you stay put right there in your bed, Imogen will help you with that weapon in your head. <laughs> I love that. Wow. That is brilliant. If ever Emily is really quiet for a long amount of time, it's because she's on Rhyme Zone. <laughs> yeah, sounds looking good. Looking at injury synonyms and all that <laughs> give me, yeah. just Give me a charisma and animal can as well, would you please? Oh, yeah, but... All five successes and two tens in there. Jesus. Oh, snap. <laughs> Taking oh, a picture my. of this one. So I just rolled. <laughs> uh, I just rolled for this uh, snake to see how susceptible it is. Um, the difficulty was higher because you are now also bleeding uh, mm. from your forehead, which this snake seems to be like attracted to. Um, and as the, f- like, it gets right up to you, Imogen, now, as it's like, staring at you with its like slotted eyes for a moment you like see it's the lip not the lips but like the slot of its mouth like open and you can see the teeth of this snake but it's kind of like Jurassic Park style now the eye is just like looking at you it doesn't shut one hand (laughs) it kind of like reels back a bit but it seems almost like more curious and there's a level of animalism to this creature, but there's like a hint of greater intelligence as it's just like kind of looking at you now and like uh, eyeing you up and down. Very uh, slowly. I like gesture to my own head and I'm like, does, does that hurt? Uh, it doesn't seem to be responding. You don't get, a th- you don't get an idea that you can have a conversation, but you've definitely stopped this thing from immediately chomping down on your salubri ass. (laughs) Uh, And you've given your allies an opportunity to do something. Okay. Um, well, I think maybe I'll try to sneak up and try to pull the sword out, question mark? I don't know what else to do. Like, I genuinely don't know what else to do since I've heard Imogen and her little poem. I'm like, okay, so that's the plan. Okay. (laughs) I see. (laughs) You love a good plan that also lays, or a good poem that also lays out the plan of the group. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. uh, I I whispered a rat, maybe. um, Rat, if maybe you wouldn't mind uh, distancing yourself from me if that sword comes out and I try to heal it. Oh. Uh, I'd, I'd love to know be it someone else's snack tonight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give me a... So how about... how Are you going to like try to slowly sneak up to the sword, Evelyn, and yank? Or yes. are you going to do like quick? I think, I think slow. All right. So give me a... Let's this is see. like the mouse and the lion fable of like the lion with the little thorn in its paw. <laughs> yeah. And Imogen's uh-huh. the mouse. <laughs> Give me a uh, dexterity and athletics. Okay. And this will just encompass the whole like sneaking up slowly uh, as Can well as yanking. I rouse the blood. You may. We're going to take a chance here and hopefully I don't get to four. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good. Fuck yeah. Nice. We are so fucking lucky with those rouse checks today. Okay, so that's two two extra dice for the scene for this or just for this this moment yeah. in time. Cool. Really don't want to fuck this up. So <laughs> Okay. There is a ten. There's another ten. So there's two tens in here. Ooh. Uh and there are three other successes in there. There's a lot of dice. Five Seven. Successes. Could have been better, but we we are happy with the two tens. Uh, what hunger are you at it right now? Just I'm at three. All right. So as you approach, you're kind of like stepping on the back of this caitiff, uh, to mm-hmm. use as like a platform. Um, and you approach the snake. And as you do, the, the light from the lantern that you're holding kind of like makes it recoil for a moment. 
And it seems to be like trying to process whether it should pay attention to you or Imogen, who has it in this kind of trance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I do whatever I can to like. Hi. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. And Look at me. Look at me. As you approach I'm the, the snake blade, master now. <laughs> everything inside of you, the beast is trying to like force you to not do this because it is so stupid. Dang- dangerous. Uh, <laughs> and probably going to get my ass killed. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and I'm like, oh, fucking Imogen. <laughs> Why'd you do? Why is this the plan? Why is this the plan? It's obviously in pain. Would you like a sword in your head? I'd like to leave. <laughs> I'd like to leave this place. <laughs> uh, both you and Rat actually hear the, like, nervousness in your beast. Just mm. the, like, no. No, my child. This creature will eat, devour you whole. And as you push through it and grab the blade, that voice disappears. Just endless silence as you pull the blade out. And then I'd like to immediately run away and then activate the little (laughs) shadows. (laughs) Uh, You do that and you just book it out. And as you run along the bones, kind of like now trying to walk through them. Uh, crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> that voice is still not there. Like, the beast is ever-present, and it mm-hmm. is now yeah. nothing. Uh, Imogen, as you're sort of like, both, I guess Rat as well, Imogen and Rat, as you like see this happen, the snake like recoils as it comes out of its head. Uh, Octavia, you feel that like migraine for a moment, uh, and it's sharp and stinging. And then it subsides. And you see Rat and Imogen, Imogen see the snake begin to like shrink as it's like riling around sort of in pain, uh, just... whipping up bones. Uh, yeah. Like tiny limbs start to shred, like pull out of its skin as it slowly turns into a humanoid figure. And it's a last gasp of breath reaches out at you Imogen Uh, it just (gasps) as the entire skin around it just mummifies and turns uh, dry and crusty as the hand (laughs) breaks off and turns to dust in front of you the fuck is this sorcery (laughs) see I thought of a lot of 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 endings to to this and that was not one of them (laughs) (laughs) Evelyn. Well, yes. Give me a willpower roll real quick. Ooh, a willpower roll, you say. Okay. Get all these other dice out of the way, because I only have three willpower. Oh, that's four dice. No, get out of here. <laughs> uh, get out ha, of here. Ha, ha, guess what? I didn't pass any what? of them. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> None of them were bad times. Yeah, it's just it's, it's it's all of them were were not not passes. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> Evelyn, as you sort of run away and you hear this gasp from the center of the room, uh, you feel this strange warmth coming from the blade, uh, almost like too hot to touch, but you can't let go, mm. and mm. you get this urge to stab somebody. No. And we're going to leave on that. No! No! Bullshit. (laughs) Fucking bullshit. Wow. Oh snake boy. shit. Oh. I like uh, McRae in the chat was like, snakes digest bones. And I was like, that's right. They do. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> snakes di- snakes do dig- di- digest bones. This is not a snake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay, well, mm, here we go. The easiest way to support. <laughs> these just get angrier and angrier as we leave <laughs> off on the uh, <laughs> cliffhangers. <laughs> cliffhangers. Uh, yeah. The easiest way to support Tabletop Titties is to become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Tabletop Titties. If you want to check out all of our merch, almost spilled white claw, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> you can head to tabletop t- t- tabletoptitties.threadless.com. Yes. Got lots of cool stuff up there, including our pride collection, which all profits are still going towards community 
Make sure you're following us on social media at Tabletop Titties. And if you tweet using hashtag TT Titties, you might have an NPC named after you. Our Indiegogo shout out today goes to saying it slowly because I didn't <laughs> have it up. Why do I always do this? <laughs> is Maya Beresford. So it's okay that Woo! it took so long. Uh, Yay! Um, Yay! Yay! I was going to say, it sounds um, like all of you know who that is. I don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Indiegogo, Maya Beresford. Love you. Um, all of this information can be found on our website, which is www.tabletoptitties.com. Every time I'm saying titties, it's with double Ds. And if you have five, five minutes to spare. Five just, minutes? Just five, five minutes to spare. We'd love it if you uh, went and uh, please filled out our audience feedback survey. It will super help us. Uh, continue the shows onward and make decisions going forward uh, uh, to put on the best shows that we can for all y'all wonderful, lovely people. Yeah. Yay. Oh boy. Yay. I was looking for and special special guest. Hold up. This way. Sarah, what do you want to plug? All right. So first off, um, I'm just going to plug my cute little bean. No. <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Cornflake. She's a good bean. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nothing like this big snake. Nothing old. like this snake. She has anxiety, <laughs> um, but she's real cute. Um, you can find me at Sarah McCupcakes on social media. You can also check me out in Into the Revelia. Into, Into the Revelia. Tabletop Tatie's other show on Tuesday nights on this channel. Um, also, check out my musical, The Girl Next Door. We just launched our Indiegogo with some exclusive behind-the-scenes uh, clips from rehearsals and such. Uh, you can check that. I've been sharing it nonstop on social media, so look for it there. Also, coming to you this September, Carefree RPG Curse of Strahd. I play Ooh. a cute Eric Cochran called... Um, so definitely worth checking that out. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. You're going to have to do that name again. One more time. Because I'm it. a bird. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> love it so much. Oh, oh, on Monday oh. we have, um, <laughs> uh, on Monday, uh, our Sorry, a nation, a yeah. nationwide Canadian yes. D&D yes. D &D adventure is coming out. Um, on Monday, it is seven episodes we're all in different episodes, uh, and it is a full story from episode one, which starts at Goblins and Gambles, I believe, onwards to episode six, which is at Not Presently Deceased. And then there's a follow-up episode, number seven, on Tunnel Vision Games. There's a ton of po uh, podcasters and RPGers involved. Uh, it's all Canadian, and there's a giveaway. So definitely <laughs> go check that out. There's some mm -hmm. really cool prizes with the giveaway. Um, so, yeah, that's coming to podcast feeds on Monday. Start episode one, and then listen to all of them. Because mm -hmm. we're in all of them. And they're <laughs> all are. connected. The stories, like the episode one affects the story of all of them and all. It onward. really does. Yeah. I know mean, two of them. It's real stupid. <laughs> so there's some good fun content. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to put, yeah, sorryadventure.ca in the chat if you want to check that out. Mm -hmm. Yay. Cool, yeah. All right, I'm gonna Yay. I'm gonna throw everyone down under to go raid the Uwoverlord. Yeah, because they are currently playing uh, their Vampire the Masquerade Chronicles. So yeah. awesome! Go give them some support. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.